Wow, I mean honestly the portfolio looks really amazing. It has all the details, all the links, all the projects, all the work. So you don't have a portfolio? Don't you worry. I have uploaded my portfolio in just 10 minutes and it looks amazing. And in this video, I'll help you build your portfolio which you can publish on social media and show it to others to get some attention. Without any further ado, let's get started but make sure to like and subscribe this video because I share amazing tutorials on this particular channel. So we will be vibe coding on hosting a horizons tool which is an amazing AI tool to build websites and web apps in just few clicks. And that's right, we'll be building everything in just 10 minutes. Yes, you heard it right. Now the first rule of vibe coding is your first prompt and the follow up prompt should be very specific, should contain all the details that you need to have the desired result. And here also it mentioned describe the project, make the edits very easily and then go live with just one click because obviously you can go live with Hostinger directly. And Horizons also provide you that flexibility to make changes on the go and also integrate Superbase, Stripe and similar kind of integrations. But daily learning about those in a while, let's get started with the first prompt. It also provide you the ability to record by speaking or give the prompt by speaking. Let me enable it once. Okay, create me a portfolio website for my LinkedIn, blah, blah, blah. So it is recording as you can see, let me disable the, so, but it's get pretty difficult to speak the complete prompt in one go because we are building a portfolio website and the first prompt have to be very detailed which contain the whole structure. So we'll go ahead with the text. Now I have written the first prompt in a detailed manner, what kind of website I want, what kind of details, you know, technical details, de design details, template details, everything I have mentioned, fonts, colors and everything as per my requirement. I wanted to have it a black, gray and gradient color scheme. I wanted to have simple fonts and that's how I have defined the structure, I have defined the required section, CEO section how it should look like about me section, project section, experience section, so and so forth. Then animations and effect what it needs to have. Then technical specifications it needs to have. And also the uh, what yeah design requirement needs to have. What kind of typography, what kind of colors it should use. You can either, you can use these prompts directly. You, if you want this complete doc, all you have to do is you have to mention your social in the comment section so that I can email you or I can, uh, you know, text you on LinkedIn or any other social media. So you have to mention that you can put your email so that I can directly um, email you the doc. Now this is the first prompt. This will only give you a boilerplate. Once the boilerplate is ready, we'll do all the changes as per our profile. Without any further ado, let's get started. Now hosting our horizon will do its magic at the backend. It will let everything ready for you. The boilerplate with all the details that you have added here. So our first boilerplate draft is ready and honestly, it looks amazing. It looks, it looks way better than what I built earlier. It has all the sections. It's, it looks amazing. Now, this thing is ready. This is the boilerplate. Now you have to add all your details about you, what your experience is, your skills and so on and so forth. And this particular thing will, will evolve all obviously, right? I don't have front end skills. I don't have UX, UI design. I might have back end or Android skills. So where all these information can be collected from LinkedIn, obviously you can go to your LinkedIn. If your LinkedIn is even worse then you are in a serious need of a portfolio. Okay. But your link, if your LinkedIn has these information, you can get that information, build another prompt, a follow prompt to add those details in your uh, portfolio. But if you don't know, there is another hack. What you can do is you can go to resources, save your LinkedIn profile as a PDF, which will collect a PDF. And then you can use that PDF to write a prompt using some LLM. And once you'll have that prompt, you can put that in horizon, hosting a horizons to input your data uh, directly. Or the third way, very easy way is just go to this toggle, switch to text editing mode and then start editing. John, John Doe, you can go ahead and make it Kushal Vijay. But I don't have time. I have to do it in, uh, uh, you know, just 10 minutes. So we'll write another prompt. I have the prompt with me. If you want the prompt, you know what you have to do. Now I've pasted my second prompt, which has all the details about me, every section and the details I need to add in those sections. Once this is done, 
um, the details will be updated. We'll be updating the images in the follow prompt along with all the minor details that we want to update. So let Horizon do its magic. Let's get started. So it has updated the details. Okay. Some random images has been added. Obviously LLM has been trained on uh, data from the internet. Now the most important part is, so it has added the data related to my profile, which is amazing. And it has added my skills also. It has added my experiences. Looks superbly good. Now we have to update the images. We have to add some animations because there are no animation instead of just floating uh, images. Uh, also, I'm thinking uh, we should be adding a marquee here of all the companies that I have worked for. So in my Telegram community, I've watched uh, when I asked this question that how many of you have a portfolio and more than 80% of the students said ki they don't have it. They want to build it. Some of the people have shared their portfolios and some of them have were really amazing. Most of them who have who already have it doesn't really look good, but now they can build with this hosting horizon. And the idea the, what I'm trying to say here is a marquee of the companies in which I have worked already. So let me write a prompt. Uh, update the images with the attached images some emojis on my you know work experiences right now it has just a label of like this there are emojis but I, I want some more emojis just like this it it looks more attractive right so some beautiful emojis some amazing animations to the top header or heading text or my name and you see the progress bar at the top it looks so good at the navigation and that's it in the meantime, since it's doing all the work, okay, it's almost done. The good part is you can go back to any of the versions that you have done uh, in the past or you can undo the current change. Right now it is disabled because things are already going on. Once this is done, you will see that undo or you know restore version will also be active. So you can go back to any of the versions which, which was working in the past in case you come across an error. Uh, okay, let it complete, okay. This looks beautiful. It has added the images. Okay. Uh, places I have worked with or uh, this doesn't look good. We'll have to update this. But let me go to uh, VV. Okay. It has not added animation yet. Okay. Coding profiles. This looks nice. Okay. Emojis have been added. That's nice. Okay. Things have been updated. But a few things have been missing. Which is. Okay, download CV, let's check. Oh, it has automatically added the feature is coming soon, which is quite intuitive from uh, the, the LLM or the hosting over Horizon side. Get in touch. Okay, let's see if the links are working. Let me click on my GitHub. Okay, it has redirected me to GitHub. So links are all uh, working. They are floating uh, animation. Places I have worked, let me update it. Remove the marquee running about, about me question. Instead, add a running or win marquee containing names of the companies I have worked with in the past or associated with. Ready? Mm -hmm. Cool. This time, this it has fixed it. I have worked with uh, Microsoft, Icon Hong Kong, Educative. I was a Google Coding Mentor. So now, this is actually it. You can go ahead and publish this. You can show it on your LinkedIn, post it on your LinkedIn once you have your uh, portfolio ready. Uh, and you can publish it via yeah, hosting it directly. But if you add, want to add your other facilities like booking a session or, you know, if you want people to connect with you, then you have to attach Superbase and Stripe payment. That's an additional part. If you are, if you're done till here, you have your portfolio ready and it looks amazing, right? Just go ahead and publish it. You can, if you click on publish and once you'll hit publish, you'll have the one stop solution of Hostinger where you can get domains, emails and hosting for your portfolio that you just created. Yes, everything at one place. That's the flexibility that Hostinger gives you. Now we'll connect Superbase. So you have to, so I have already connected my Superbase account. You have to sign into Superbase and it will automatically detect it. Uh, my Superbase account is here. I have an active project. 
you have to sign in to signing to superbase is pretty simple you have to you can sign in with your vi github account once you are done with it you can have to create a project and then you can connect your superbase project from here let me connect it right now and it will put a command here please connect my superbase project okay so the superbase connection is being completed as you can see, the connection has uh, been updated. Now we want a booking section, and for that we just have to add the prompt. It's a pretty simple prompt which will have a booking section. The booking section section will have a calendar display. Obviously, it has to the user has to select a date, select a timestamp, add their details, select a particular type of service they want to select or they want to have, and then click OK or submit the booking. Once that is done, you have it, it should redirect you to Stripe. Now, once you go to Stripe, you have to set up your Stripe account. You have to add your Stripe API key and all the details related to. So, hosting or Horizon will guide you what things you need to do to set up your Stripe. And not just Stripe, you can integrate any other uh, APIs also for payment. So, let it do its magic. Cool. Let's see if it has added the booking section. Mm. It has added a booking section and that looks great. Let me go to 11, 9. Let me add an email. Let me add my name, email. One number is optional, section consultation, and proceed for payment. Okay, feature is yet not implemented. Definitely because Stripe is yet not added. Now, what we can do is we can go ahead and let's set up Stripe. Set up Stripe. This looks good. Also add booking tab in the navigation. So Stripe integration for my location is invite only basis for now. But if you, it's available at your end, you can integrate that to. It has done uh, hosting horizon has also added the booking section. We can jump onto the booking section and do the booking uh, on its own. Uh, do the booking and complete the payment via Stripe or any other payment integration that you want to add. It's pretty simple, just like Superbase, you have to give your API keys and it will store those API keys securely and then connect the Stripe payment also. Obviously, I cannot do all those things, API keys in, uh, in a tutorial, but I hope you got the idea and Looking at this, let me go to the first review. Wow, I mean, honestly, the portfolio looks really amazing. It has all the details, all the links, all the projects, all the work, and also a booking section. It looks really amazing. That's all from this video. I hope you have enjoyed and learned something from it. Launch your ideas today with Hosting a Horizon and also get a 10% off using my coupon Kushal. You can get the link in the description below. Build with creativity and show your ideas to the public. There are many more videos coming ahead and tutorial videos also on AI tools. So make sure to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.